on the, I guess, the area of challenges from the industry as a whole and the oil and gas industry as a whole, where do you see the sort of biggest challenges within the industry over the next few years, say the next five years or so? The, the, the challenges within the industry, uh, you know, in some ways are geographic in the sense of how we're perceived as an industry. It, it's very noticeable as a, a, for oil and gas, how, how they're perceived in Western Europe compared to how they're perceived in, in say, North America to, to other parts of the world. Um, you know, and, and it wouldn't be, you know, unfair to say that within Western Europe, we're, we're not perceived well, we're not liked. But, but the reality is that the, the world faces an energy challenge. You know, the, the demand for energy is growing substantially. And yet there are substantial parts of the world that have tremendous energy poverty, parts of Africa, parts of Southeast Asia, where people really don't have access to cheap, affordable energy. And I think the challenge of the industry is to get its license to operate so that people can see that what we're bringing as an industry is, is about increasing and improving standards of living. And the best way to do that anywhere in the world is to give people access to cleaner, affordable energy. Absolutely. You know, and so what the industry to me has to do is be super profitable so that he can take that profits and invest it in the newer technologies of wind and solar and biofuels and other forms of energy and be able to make those investments around the world. Absolutely. And do you think that is the, the future for the oil and gas industry? You know, the, the, we're in a time of scrutiny. Everybody wants to go green. Is that where you think it's heading? Um, I hope so. You know, I've always believed the answer to the problems of the world are, are technology. So, so when I hear young people today saying there's nothing they can do about it, well, I would argue you can. You go to school, you do the science subjects, you go to university, you do science, you do engineering, because the solutions to the world's challenges and problems will come from science, will come from engineering, and it will come from companies who invest time and energy in those areas to develop the solutions to our problems. Innovation is really about taking, you know, um, innovation really is about taking an invention and applying it to a problem. And, and that's what oil companies do really well. They innovate. And this is where we're always looking for new solutions. And we're seeing a movement away from, any, from oil and gas companies of being oil and gas to being energy. We've seen a movement away from electricity companies of being electricity companies to becoming energy companies. And, and I think that's a, a common challenge that we have in the industry and the common challenge we have in society is getting clean, affordable energy to the whole population of the world, not just the rich parts of the world.